Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss overview of type of circuit breakers. So based on the fluid insulating medium used for the arc quenching mechanism, we have classified circuit breakers into several types like air brake circuit breaker, bulk oil volume circuit breaker, minimum oil volume circuit breaker, air blast circuit breaker, sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker and vacuum circuit breaker. So in this video, I won't discuss the construction and the operation details in detail but I will give you the overview of the circuit breakers so that you can have your Y ones and introduce very easily. So the first breaker is the air brake circuit breaker. Okay, So the air brake circuit breakers are employed for the voltage up to 415 volt applications and the current ranging from 100 amperes to 4000 amperes so they are employed for the voltage up to 415 volt um, applications and the current ranging from 100 amperes to 4000 amperes and the braking capacity recorded is 80 kilo amperes 80 kilo amperes and these air brake circuit breaker this the air is at normal temperature and pressure so the air blast is different and the normal air is different this air is at normal pressure and temperature Okay, so these air brake circuit breaker have inbuilt thermal overload release, thermal overload release. That means the release is due to the heating caused by the overload. So we do not require the relay for the tripping signals because it has inbuilt thermal overload relay, thermal overload release. That is, the release is due to the heating caused by the overloads and it has high speed of operation on short circuit conditions and these also have functions provided for the shunt trip, remote trip and under voltage release, under voltage release. So basically these are the optional accessories present in the air brake circuit breaker. So in the shunt trip function so we are having the it's a optional device where it has shunt trip terminals so in order to trip it you have to provide power externally so externally power power must be provided and it cannot work with the breaker power so you have to provide the power externally to the shunt trip terminals to trip the breaker so these are the optional accessories or devices so again your remote trip is also you can trip the breaker from a remote area and when the uh, voltage voltage at this under voltage trip terminals goes below a threshold value then also a tripping occurs so this is about the shunt trip remote trip and under voltage trip and the arc quenching here can be done by lengthening the arc splitting the arc and cooling the arc so these are the mechanisms by where you can quench the arc and the latest version of this ABCB, ABCB breaker is the molded case circuit breakers. So the molded case circuit breakers and the miniature circuit breaker difference if we talk, the miniature circuit breakers are employed for 100 amperes and it has only one overcurrent protection, one overcurrent protection where MC, MCCB is used for up to 1000 amperes and it has two overcurrent protection and one earth fault protection. So this is about the ABCB. Now if we talk about the bulk oil volume, bulk oil volume circuit breakers. So as the name says, the oil here it is used for insulating and for arc quenching. It is used for insulating as well as for arc quenching. So here a bulk oil is used for quenching the arc unlike your minimum oil uh, minimum oil volume circuit breaker we shall discuss that so here the oil is used for insulating and arc quenching and uh, these actually are obsolete today obsolete that means they are not much in use today or they have become outdated but they do find their existence at the uh, you can say older substation older substation installations so as they find their existence at the older substation installations we must know 
how this breaker also function so the oil is as a name says the oil is used for the insulating and arc quenching mechanism now upon arcing or when if i say particularly the relay is required here to provide the tripping signal so when the relay provides the tripping signal to this bulk oil volume circuit breakers so there will be arcing now due to this arcing the decomposition of the oil takes place so the oil is nothing but it is a uh, hydrocarbon organic chemical material it's a hydrocarbon organic chemical material now due to arcing decomposition of this oil occurs and it will generate hydrogen now this hydrogen has uh, two important uses one is it works as a coolant and it has high dielectric strength and it has uh, this gas has highly conductive that is thermally highly conductive that means it can conduct heat very highly okay so this works as a coolant this has a high dielectric strength and this has a high thermal conductivity so this can be used to quench the arc that is hydrogen gas can be used to quench the arc or you can go for other self blast mechanisms now coming to the minimum oil volume minimum oil volume circuit breakers so the basic difference between these mocb and this bulk oil volume circuit breaker is the usage of separate arc chamber so separate arc chamber is a basic difference because the oil which is used for insulating and the oil which is used for arc quenching are kept separate so this is done due to uh, have the less deterioration of the oil which is used for quenching the arc so in order to have less deterioration of the arc we are going for the separate chambers so here the oil filled for arc quenching is separate and the oil filled in the insulating material between the metal caps or you can say held between the metal caps is separate so the oil for quenching is separate and the oil filled in the insulating column of a porcelain container is separate and this separation is done to reduce the deterioration of the bulk oil and normally this uh, bulk oil volume circuit breaker and the minimum oil volume circuit breaker are preferred up to 66 kV voltages only okay so this is about the mocb and uh, this is bulk oil volume circuit breaker and uh, in particular if i say the tank defines so the tank here it is at earth potential that is in the bulk oil volume circuit breaker the tank is at earth potential and uh, you insert the live conductors through the bushings inside so it is at earth potential here whereas the tank here it is a tube of insulating material place it between the metal caps and these metal caps acts as the or uh, provides for the external terminals to get connected okay so if i say this is a tube here and there will be the terminals and to these terminals you place the conductors so this tank is at live potential okay these are the two basic differences you can notice in the minimum oil circuit breaker and the bulk oil volume circuit breaker here i say bulk oil means the bulk oil is getting deteriorated here i say minimum oil means the minimum oil is getting deteriorated due to the arcing now coming to the air blast circuit breaker air blast blast is pressurizing the air so blasting the air or forcing the air has increased the dielectric strength several times or many times more than the normal air brake circuit breakers so the dielectric strength offered by the pressurized air is several times more than the dielectric strength offered by the normal air at normal temperature and pressure so this fact coupled with the arc extinction using the forced air has become very popular and made this air blast circuit breaker very popular and it started replacing this minimum oil circuit breaker also and as this pressurized air has high dielectric strength this can be used up to 735 kV voltages now let us talk about the SF6 
circuit breaker and the vacuum circuit breakers. Now, talking about the sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker, these circuit breakers are very popular nowadays. Now, the popularity of the sulfur hexafluoride circuit breaker is due to its high dielectric strength. So, it it possesses not only the high dielectric strength but also due to its electronegative property the electrons get attached to the SF6 molecules. So the electrons get at attached to this SF6 molecules and this property helps in the faster recovery of the dielectric strength. So that is the sole reason of recovering the faster dielectric strength then the rise of recycling voltage this uh, sf6 circuit breakers are very useful in quenching the arc easily so what happens when electrons gets attached to this sf6 molecules because we know that the arc is a column of ionized gases and these ionized gases contain nothing but the electrons and the ions now if we Recombine these electrons and ions into neutral molecules then the there will be no electrons present in the medium and there will be no conducting channel. So that is what we are saying here once the electrons get attached to the SF6 molecules there will there won't be any uh, ionized gases in between the fixed contact and the moving contact the, and the R can be easily quenched or other way you can say the recovery of the dielectric strength is faster than the rise of that is the rate of rise of recycling voltage. So this is about SF6 and the voltage range use the voltage range of this SF6 circuit breaker is uh, from 6.6 K, 6 kV to some up to 735 kV. Now the last one is the vacuum circuit breakers. So this is the most modern and the recent technology used but unfortunately it is restric restricted only up to some 33 or 66 kV. Now this is the evolution of the circuit breaker. First we have used the ABCB that is the air brake circuit breakers and next we have moved to all bulk oil valve circuit breakers because the oil here it, oil it, here it has the dielectric strength approximately 7 times 7 times higher than the normal air. The oil we have gone for oil from air because the oil will be having the dielectric strength approximately 7 times higher than the dielectric strength of the normal air and uh, as the bulk oil is getting deteriorated due to arcing we have moved to the MOCV that is a minimum oil circuit breaker and next as the pressurized air is having higher dielectric strength than the MOCV, MOCV we have moved to the air blast circuit breakers and as this SF6 circuit breakers have high recovery of dielectric strength due to the attachment of molecules uh, attachment of electrons to sf6 molecules we are moved to sf6 circuit breakers and the vacuum circuit breakers are the recent technology so this is very brief overview of the type of circuit breakers i hope you understood well thank you